I was eight years old when I was diagnosed with osteogenic sarcoma in my left femur. I really didn't know how bad or how um, it was going to impact my life. Um, so whenever I started going through chemotherapy and all that, that's when it really hit me. I was definitely adjusting. I was still very insecure. I didn't want to leave the house because of people staring at me and, uh, you know, just feeling of being judged all the time. I thought, you know, there's no way I'm going to be able to do sports. I'm missing a leg. Um, but I luckily found a guy at Costco and he told me about wheelchair basketball. And that weekend I went out and tried it out and I loved it. I played five years at University of Texas at Arlington. Um, and that's kind of when I started losing a lot of my weight, I t uh, took basketball a lot more serious. Um, we would train five times a week, um, and Coach Likens, I would play against his team. He runs the University of Missouri program, he's the head coach there, and he would see me play. And 2013 is what was my first invitation out to tryouts. There was about like 40 guys here, it was a huge invitation. I was super, super nervous, didn't know what to expect or what, what was going to happen, um, but showed up and then just gave it my all. And uh, fortunately, I was selected to the, to the final team. And yeah, that's how I got involved. But getting cut those next three years was very, very hard on me. I think making it the second time was definitely uh, a lot better. I would say I felt a lot more emotion because being, after being cut and then finally being back on the team, you just feel super accomplished. You feel like, okay, let's go. You know, I'm ready to give it my all. I'm ready to put my body out on the line. It's a huge honor and a blessing to be on this team and to represent the country.